edge of the bar or that you find a down pointing arrow. If you click on that down pointing arrow, it will tell you what's in the bar. And one of the choices is painter. If I turn that off, I wouldn't see the paint can. So if you go to your library and you don't see a paint can, then you want to come down here and click on that side and choose painter. There could be one other reason why you would not see um, the paint can down there. And that is you might not have that bar at the bottom visible at all. You can show or hide that bar at the bottom and it's probably found either under the view menu or the window menu. It's right there, hide toolbar. I'm just used to using my keyboard. That's why I don't know where it is. But if you just press the letter T, you would toggle the visibility of that bar. So hopefully, everybody on the interwebs who couldn't find that little paint can, uh, if the bar is not there, hit T. It should, should make the bar show up. If the paint can is not in the bar, go to the right side of the bar and toggle the painter on. Then in order to see the options for the painter, click on the little can to make it active. Tell it you want to paint keywords and type in the keyword you want to apply. All right, so now we're all set with that. Now let's look at how easy it is to tag all of our waterfalls. All I'm going to do is move my mouse on top of these images. When I do, it looks like I have a paint can. See a little paint can? And I click. And <laughs> you see a little paint come out of it? And so all I'm going to do is here, click that. I just tagged it waterfall. Click that, waterfall. So I'm just going to quickly scroll through and see if I have any other waterfalls. There's one. There's the one with me that had a finger in it. That's a waterfall. That's a waterfall. That's a waterfall. So is that. So is that. 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 All these things. Okay, so now I have, I think, all my waterfalls done. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Um, there's some images here with some ice in them. Uh, those are icebergs. Uh, so I'm going to come in here and make sure I'm not zoomed in. Go down and tell it I want a different uh, keyword. And I'm going to say I want just ice. Not ice land, but ice. Or ice. Is, how's iceberg spelled? Is it B E U or B E? Nice. There. All right. Uh, so if I type that in down there now, anything that's got all these pieces of, of uh, ice in it or chunks of iceberg, I'm going to click on all those and see how quickly I could go through, find these icebergs. Okay, there's one, there's one, there's one. If you're ever in Iceland, go to the south shore, kind of the south, a little bit towards the east. Oops. I accidentally clicked there. Now, I didn't want the keyword uh, iceberg on top of the waterfall. So what can I do? Well, if I click that image to make it active, on the right side, it'll tell me all the uh, keywords that I have attached, and you'll see the list. All I need to do is come in here and select iceberg and hit delete. And now it no longer has that tagged. So that's one way. And let's see if there's any other icebergs in here. Uh, so anyway, you could set uh, this up and quickly tag a bunch of images. When you're done, just put the paint can back to where it was before. Just click on that little space for it at the bottom of your screen, and you'll be done with it. Or there's a done button. When you have the paint can active, it's on the right side of that bar. Either way, it's going to put the paint can back for you. Now, that's not the only way of applying keywords. There's a whole bunch of ways, because if it's... Pretty much you look at the one that best fits your use of Lightroom, and the one that will make you the fastest. And so, so far we've seen we can type them in at the bottom of this area called keywording, and in the area above that it will tell us what's currently attached to the image that we have selected. Below that we have keyword su um, suggestions, and that's going to show us keywords that we've used recently um, that um, Lightroom thinks we might want to apply to these. All you need to do is click on the picture and then click on one of those. Below that is an area called Keyword Set. And this is where we can actually set up our own little tagging things. Let's say that we always shoot high school seniors. And I want to tag them uh, based on maybe what sports they play. So I can have football, basketball, hockey, whatever, and uh, add those. Well, I can 